Uh, am I clear to everyone? My voice is clear to everyone, students? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Students, clear to everyone? No? My voice is clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, students, uh, let us check the amounts. Students, amount of loan of A and B is 30,000 and 50,000. So, check out your first entry. First general entry is 1719. Bank account debited 80,000. To A's loan 30,000, to B's loan 50,000. First general entry correct of everyone's students? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Second general entry date is 31 3 20. Interest on loan account debited 7,200. To loan of A 2,700. To loan of B 4,500. Second entry is correct, students? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, so can you repeat it? Yes. Interest on loan account debited 7,200 to loan of A, 2,700 to loan of B, 4,500. No, sir. Entry is wrong? Yes, sir. Uh, Radhika? In A's account, see the calculation, beta. We have taken a loan of 30,000 from A and percentage are 12%, correct? As per question, it is 12%, percent no? Students, it is 12%, no? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. 30,000 into 12 upon 100 into, we have taken loan on 1719. So, so 789. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 9 months into 9 upon 12. So, 2700 is the interest on loan of A. In the same way, we have taken loan of 50,000 from B into 12% into 9 upon 12. So, the amount is 4500 and total is 7200. Radhika, clear? Sir, calculation was mistake. Ho gui thi. Okay, no problem. Correct right, okay, right? Students, entry number second. I am repeating again. 31320, interest on loan account debited 7200 to loan of A, 2700 to loan of B, 4500. Second entry is correct of everyone, students? Yes, sir. Entry yes, number sir. three. Entry number three. Thirty-one three twenty. Profit and loss account debited to interest on loan seventy-two hundred seventy-two hundred. Dear students. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Third entry correct of everyone. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So yes. now check the amount of balance of loan of A. Balance of loan of A is thirty-two thousand seven hundred. Correct, students? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, the amount of loan of B is 54,500. Correct? Yes, students? sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, A is uh, 32,700. 32700. And B is. You wrong, right? See, we are making loan of A. We are making loan of A account. As per first entry, we have taken loan of rupees 30,000, correct? So, on credit side, 1790 by bank. Amount of loan is 30,000. Clear, Kush? Yes, sir. And on 31,320 by interest on loan, it is 2700. So, 
टोटल इज थर्टी टू सेवन हंड्रेड थर्टी टू सेवन हंड्रेड थर्टी वन थ्री ट्वेंटी टू बैलेंस क्रेडिट फॉरवर्ड थर्टी टू सेवन कुछ
we are supposed to calculate interest of nine months. Please calculate, students. I think A's interest on loan is eighteen hundred. If I'm not wrong, please verify, students. And B's is double two five zero. Please verify, students. Are you there, everyone? Yes. Please check the amounts. Yes, sir. A is one eight zero zero, and B. And please check the amount of B. Yes, sir. Eighteen hundred and two two five zero. Okay, students. Now, question has given three different cases. Case number one: profit before interest on loan. Can you please tell me the amount of case one? Fifty thousand. It is fifty thousand. Students, interest on loan. <coughs> It is always expense for the firm. So out of that profit, interest on loan will be deducted of A and B. Interest on loan of A is eighteen hundred. End of B is double two five zero. We'll make the total of it. It is four zero five zero. Out of fifty thousand, four zero five zero will be deducted. We'll get profit. After interest on loan, four five nine five zero. Students, case number one clear to everyone. Students, yes, sir. So can I explain it again? Yes, surely. On one seven nineteen, I am explaining you from the beginning. On one seven nineteen. A advanced the loan of forty thousand and B advanced the loan of fifty thousand. Interest percentage of interest on loan is not mentioned in question. In last lecture, we discussed that when interest on loan percentage is not mentioned, then it is mandatory for a firm to give six percent interest on loan to partner. So to A forty thousand into six upon hundred into. They have advanced the loan on one seven ninety, so seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two three. Interest will be calculated of nine months into nine upon twelve. So A's interest on loan is eighteen hundred. B's interest on loan fifty thousand into six upon hundred into nine upon twelve, which is double two five zero. Calculation of interest on loan clear to everyone, students. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyone having trouble in these calculations, please you can ask. Then I'll move ahead. Students, any doubt in these calculations? No, sir. Okay. Now, in case number one, profit before interest on loan is fifty thousand. Firm is paying interest to them. Interest is expense, so that amount is deducted from our profit. Minus interest on loan, A it is eighteen hundred, B it is double two five zero. In total, it is four zero five zero. Out of profit fifty thousand, four zero five zero is deducted. So the main profit after interest on loan is four five nine five zero. Clear, students, everyone. Any doubt, students? In case one. Students, any doubt in case one? I'm waiting no, for your answer. No sir. No. No sir. No sir. Okay. Now case two. As per case two, students, profit before interest on loan is ten thousand minus interest on loan, which we have already calculated. It is four zero five zero, so ten thousand minus four zero five zero. That is our profit after interest on loan 
so it will be five nine five zero. Case two clear, everyone, students. Yes, yes, sir. Any doubt in case two, students? Sir, can you explain that again? Yeah, surely. In case two, profit before interest on loan is ten thousand as per the question, and we have calculated interest on loan as interest on loan is expense. So it is to be deducted from the profit minus interest on loan is four zero five zero. So ten thousand minus four zero five zero profit after interest on loan is five nine five zero. Students, any doubt in case one or in case two? Anyone? No sir. No sir. Sure. Shall I move on, students, to case three? Yes sir. students in case 3 we are having loss loss before interest on loan how much loss is given students in question 5000 5000 means loss means it's negative minus 5000 again interest on loan is our expense so it is to be deducted Amount of interest on loan is four zero five zero, so minus five thousand minus four zero five zero minus nine zero five zero, or you can write it in a bracket. Loss after interest on loan. Clear, students? Case three. Yes, sir. Any doubt in case three? Students, no, no sir. Girls, everyone, case one, two, three, clear to everyone. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, finish it out, students. Finish this sum. We'll give you one more sum. Done, sir. We'll give you a like one more sum, and that will be solved by your students. You have to solve it out. done sir everyone done students yes done, sir done sir write it down write it down students that will be done by you a b and c are a b and c are partners Full stop. B and C has advanced loan of ten thousand and twenty thousand on one ten ninety. Find out. Profit in following cases. Find out profit in following cases. Case one. Profit to be five thousand. Case two. Loss to be two thousand. Loss will be two thousand. Sir, do it, students. Sir, amount how much? Case one. Case one profit rupees five thousand. Case two loss rupees two thousand. Case sir, one amount. Amount of loan. B or C? Ten thousand and twenty thousand. Ten thousand and twenty thousand. Answer. Wait, wait, wait. Let everyone finish it.
डन एवरीवन आदर्श यू हैव डन कुश यू हैव डन बेटा नो सर लेस नहीं नो सर ओके नो नो डू इट अभिषेक सर डूइंग सर ओके हैनी हैनी राधिका नो सर Okay, fine. Complete it. Diya, you have done better. I'm doing it. Okay, do it. Adarsh, loan is advanced on which day? The first October two thousand nineteen. Nineteen. A and B is advanced, huh? or A or C? Yes, sir. Sir, A and B. A ten thousand and B twenty thousand. So here it is three hundred and here it is six hundred. Students, interest on loan is three hundred and six hundred. Is it correct of everyone? Students, interest on loan is three hundred and six hundred. Is it correct? Adarsh. Yes, sir. Is it correct? Three hundred and six hundred interest on loan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three hundred six hundred. Okay, everyone, students, three hundred and six hundred. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, in case one, profit before interest on loan, it is five thousand minus interest on loan A and B, three hundred and six hundred. Nine hundred will be deducted. Forty one hundred is profit after interest on loan. Case one correct, students? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyone who has yes, forgot the answer of case one? Everyone got the correct answer. Forty one hundred in case one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. In case yes, two. We are having loss before interest on loan, and the loss amount is two thousand. Correct, students? Yes, yes. sir. <clears throat> minus interest on loan minus nine hundred, so it is minus two thousand nine hundred loss after interest on loan. So in case two, answer is negative twenty nine hundred. Everyone correct, students? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everyone got the correct answer? Yes, sir. Great. So students, we are ending our lecture today's lecture over here, and in next lecture we will start our new topic. Certain sums will be in homework. I'll update you by tonight in the group or by tomorrow. We have discussed two kind of sums, and related to these two kinds, I'll share some sums to you, which you will have to finish by the next lecture. In next lecture, we'll discuss these sums, and then 
will move ahead with our next topic today i am going to share finalize the time table and from the from monday itself we will strictly follow that schedule okay students yes sir yes sir till then students we are, uh, you are having bst lecture at 3:30 so till then bye 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 sir bye sir bye sir bye sir do we have classes tomorrow yes do we have classes tomorrow no riya tomorrow you don't have any classes and from monday i am going to share a schedule to you and from monday we will follow that schedule okay okay no i just wanted you to know that uh, sunday we have school okay you have school over here we yes uh, here weekends are on friday and saturday sunday okay. we have school sunday is working day okay and what are the timings for sunday uh, from 8:30 in the morning to 1:30 in the afternoon 8:30 to 1:30 okay fine so i'll keep this yes. in mind yes okay thank you okay bye 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 sir bye bye